Pete. You the streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should have knew that. Word. Ain't no need no Browns in this town. You a new Jack. Come to find out, Jazz on them murdered it. Mm. They murdered it. They murdered it. Stu Jazzo rap fast as hell, and mm -hmm. you, every word was clear. Damn. It was real clear. I, I wasn't sure if he was better than us, but, <laughs> man, he did his motherfucking thing. Mm. Like I said, we was, worried about, we was mm. worried about him and everything like that. Come to find out, mm. that night, they won. Yeah. Jazz on his team won. Yeah, they won. We came in second place. My man was so, so was so mad about that shit. He went home. You know what Damn. I'm saying? But I stayed. I mm -hmm. stayed. I congratulated Jazz. I liked the Jazz. I always liked the Jazz. Oh, he was a real fair dude. And mm -hmm. and out of like that, that, that was like I said, that was my first time. Salute really, the Jazz. Yeah, mm -hmm. salute the Jazz. Oh, wherever you at, my dude. Mm -hmm. Remember me, man. I'm Ross, man. Look at my face. You know, you know, man. You did the messenger job thing for together for a little minute. Mm -hmm. You go back and remember that too. Sixteen. Some of youth papers, shit, and stuff like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But for the most part, anyway, like I said, they killed it. So, I'm, like I said, I'm from 146th and Broadway. Across from me mm -hmm. is a McDonald's on 145th and Broadway. And that gotcha. McDonald's has been around since I was a kid. I had my seven-year-old birthday party in that McDonald's. So, mm -hmm. you know, so um, when we come out, everybody's hungry. You know what I mean? Uh, it was a whole, like a whole slew. I mean, when Jazzo came out there, they came with 80, 90 dudes deep. Dang. 10, 15 cars lined up all the way up my block. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when we come out, everybody's hungry, you know. Mm -hmm. We decide to go to McDonald's, you know. When I get to McDonald's, uh, I look up, and the dude, I see Jazz on him in McDonald's, but I see the dude that's on stage with Jazzo, the mm -hmm. light-skinned dude, the big lip dude, I see him talking to my man Juan. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Juan is a dude that I knew most of my life, but mm -hmm. the one thing I knew Juan for, he was the plug, he was the connect. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Juan? And by the way, y'all, this is 35 years ago, Statue of Limitations is dead. For all you suckers that want to try to catch some, some nonsense, Statue of Limitations is dead mm -hmm. 35 years ago. Whole lot. Whole lot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he was the plug. When I say he was the plug, I mean, you see this man, this man got all the petty go in the world. Mm. But yeah, yo, he had it all. Dang. He was that dude, period. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I seen him talking to Jazz old man, a light-skinned dude. Mm -hmm. So I told my man, I said, yo, I said, yo, the Brooklyn dudes, they up here, you know, I know they won and all that, mm -hmm. but they up here comfortable. <laughs> You know? And my man said, what you mean? I said, yo, look at the, the dude that was on stage with Jazzo. He over there talking to Juan. Mm -hmm. He said, which Juan? The connect? I said, yeah, look. So they was they was politicking like they, you know, like they was friends, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And, you know, funny thing is, uh, I seen him that night. And I mm -hmm. figured that was just a one-time thing. I, you know, I go to McDonald's like it's nothing because it's mm -hmm. on the corner of my block or whatever, so... A couple of weeks go down the line, I start seeing this dude, the same dude, but not Jazz O, mm -hmm. but the dude that was on stage with him, the big lip light skin dude. Wow. And I start seeing him, and he's talking. Every time I see him, he's talking to Juan, or he's talking to Juan man in McDonald's. I start seeing this dude maybe like the next couple of months. I might have saw him five, six different times. And he was never with the same person. It was one dude he was with, but he wasn't really with that person every single time. It was always somebody else, but it was mm -hmm. always him. Gotcha. Next thing I know, I start, you know, I said to my man, I said, yo, so Jazz O Hype, man, he, I was starting to see him over here around one all the time. My man said, Ross, man, mm. mind your damn business, man. You know what I'm saying? Mind your business. They, you know, they doing whatever they doing. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, this is my block, man. I don't care. I, you know, I'm a young dude. You're I want to, right, I want to know. Very observant. I'm very observant. I want to mm. know what's going on. You Got feel it. me? So, <laughs> you know. Come to find out, man, a little time goes by. I stopped seeing, I stopped seeing the light skinned dude. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And uh once I stopped seeing him, I really didn't see Juan around like that no mm -hmm. more after that. For you know, like maybe I saw him maybe another month or two, a couple of months after that. Then I stopped seeing him. I didn't put two and two together, but I, mm -hmm. you know, I asked my man, I said, Yo, what happened to Juan? He got bagged or something? He's like, nah, the dude. He's out of town or something like that now. Mm. He don't really be around like mm -hmm. that. I used to see his sister. His sister was fine as hell. 
thick as all outdoors. She was real cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because she's thick as hell. Mm. My aunt's sister thick as hell. Sweetheart, too. But, um, <laughs> you know, she she barely spoke English. You know what mm. I'm saying? But um, anyway, fast forward, you know, I'm still trying to, we still trying to do this music thing or whatever mm. the case may be. You know, I, that's that was the point in my life where I was kind of focused on the music. I gotcha. got back to hustling a little bit later. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, Time goes by, and uh, I start hearing about this dude named Jay-Z. Mm. And I see the dude when I first see uh, to see this group called Original Flavor. This might have been two or three years, three or two or three years down the line after all this happened. Mm. And I, I told my man, I said, yo, light-skinned dude, the big-lip dude. That's <laughs> the dude used to be with Jazz on him. Say word. He, yeah, he's mm. like, yo, he's like, he's like, Ross, man, I think you, you know, I don't think you got that right. I said, mm. dude, I don't know what you're doing or whatever the case may be. This wasn't nothing but two, three years ago. You telling mm. me you don't remember that dude, the dude that I told you I kept seeing him around Juan, mm. and then Juan ain't come around no more? He said, yo, man, yeah, I, I guess so or whatever. So I'm saying all that to say, mm. like, once I started, uh, once I started seeing him sing with original flavor, that's when... You know, that's when I started noticing this dude must have got somewhere, but I wasn't, I think right after that, Hawaiian Sophie came out. And um, Hawaiian Sophie was Jazz O joint, but you saw Jay-Z with him on the side. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, um, I don't remember if he rapped in the song. Did Jay-Z rap in that Hawaiian Sophie joint? Yes, he did. He rapped in there. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. That, that's the first time I really heard him rap after that. I, I, I saw, I remember the original flavor thing. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, I started, you know, hearing, seeing Jay-Z coming out with his, uh, you know, with Streets is watching and all this mm -hmm. stuff like that. And this is, you know, this is a few years later. And um, I heard about a, 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 a restaurant he was buying called the 4040 Club. Mm -hmm. Now, when I found out who he was partners with, with it, it kind of shocked me a little bit. But I had to go back and think, wow, mm -hmm. wait a minute. They must have met. During that time, that that night when I seen him, because I had never, ever, ever, and you know I know you a Brooklyn guy, mm -hmm. whatever. At this time, I'm 14 years old at the first, mm -hmm. and I never, I never met a Brooklyn dude before that. I never seen a Brooklyn dude. I never been up close to one a Brooklyn mm -hmm. dude or whatever. I never went to Brooklyn. None of that as of that point right there. Gotcha. I was 14, but um, they bought the 4040 Club together. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? And uh. I'm letting people know that I feel like I was right there when they met because of the simple fact that I'd never seen no Brooklyn dudes around my way before that, ever. And I was outside every day in the street, mm. every single day. And I know Brooklyn travel all over the mm. place, but at that point, Broadway International, and a little few years, a couple of years after that, Rooftop, that's when I started seeing Brooklyn dudes after that point, mm. you know. But um, I put another thing together, too, because... Uh, I thought way back later on. I started seeing, I started seeing Boogie Down Productions come, you know, come, come getting on and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I saw a dude that I recognized, another dude that I recognized from Broadway International. Remember the dude that I was telling y'all, Celebrity Three? Mm -hmm. And I said, my man Jerry Lee had his man with him. He had the real big nose. Yeah. Turned out to be Chris Parker, man. Say word. Yeah, yeah. That was KRS One, man. That wow. was Karis one. The one that told me to critique it a little bit. We laughed at him and all that. <laughs> we should, maybe we should have critiqued it. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> was he wow. right? He was right. Um, he definitely was right. We didn't want to hear that wow. shit then, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, we came in second place that night, though. Mm -hmm. They came in third. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm just putting mm -hmm. that out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so to make a long story short, after once I started hearing Jay-Z talk about how he used to cop in Harlem, Mm -hmm. All of my Dominicanos right up there on Broadway take me back to that McDonald's. Mm. It made me think. And I told my mm -hmm. man, I said, yo, he talking about when he came up here that night for that contest. My man said, how you know? I said, I ain't never seen him before. And mm. if you look at the video, you know what I'm saying? If you look at the video, look above me. We might have a still shot of that. You see mm -hmm. him sitting right there on 145th and Broadway with the, with the location right there. And he's pointing to McDonald's, saying this is where it started at. That's my block. That's 145th wow. and Broadway. So I just want to give people a little insight on how them two most likely met. 
you know, if you, mm-hmm. if you if I had to bet on it, if I had to bet my last dollar, they met that night of that contest right there. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's funny how people meet up and you meet people and you never know where things are going to go and how mm-hmm. people's lives change and all that. Just want to give y'all a little insight, man. Yeah. The man is a billionaire now. Mm-hmm. Shout outs to him. So when you say Juan, that's OG Juan. OG Juan. That's his partner with Rock Nation. Mm. That's his partner with the 4040 clubs and all all that. I'm from 146 in Broadway. Juan is from 148th in Broadway. Mm. Period. Now, it was speculations about OG Juan, wife. I think her name is Desiree. I heard some things. What you heard? Cause I'm I like, heard some things that... Uh, let's, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I heard some things. I heard that, uh, you know, I seen, read some things. I heard some things that, you know, something happened and the wife, you know, the wife had to had to cooperate with, with, with federal authorities about mm. some things or whatever the case may be. I I don't know. It wasn't me. You know, that I, I'm not saying. I'm just she telling you what I... She was a CI? Huh? I, I, listen. A confidential informant? From what, from what, mm-hmm. I, from what mm-hmm. I was... From what I seen, mm-hmm. this is public knowledge, mm-hmm. that's what I was told. That, mm-hmm. you know, so, you know, I mean, they had to cooperate to, you know, to make things easier for them. I don't know the situation or who they So you saw the paperwork all. or this is what... I did not see the paperwork. What I seen, what I seen was... was was public information mm-hmm. through you know blogs and stuff like that and mm-hmm. YouTube. I did not see any legal paperwork on the subject. But this is but also the same situation Dame Dash was speaking about. Yes, too. it was. Okay. Yes, it was. I heard mm-hmm. Dame Dash talking about it, and uh, you know, according to Dame, that's one of the reasons why he couldn't really rock with Jay Z outside of outside of the other shit. The outside, other shit with their mm-hmm. business. With their business, yes, sir. But that's, once he heard that, he was like, nah, once, I'm good. "That I'm made good things on a little, yeah, that made things." If a he little rocking with homie and his wife is a federal and and all that allegedly, allegedly, uh-huh. right? You know that that that's what Dame said. He said mm-hmm. he, that didn't sit well with him. You know, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know what Dame's situation mm-hmm. is with that, but I know one thing. I know that uh, I know that he uh, that didn't sit too right with him, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah. So you know, basically um, uh uh, uh you know, Juan and, Juan and Jay Z, they both multi-millionaires mm-hmm. now, or whatever the case may be. It just shows you, it shows you how somebody could come from come up from the hood and uh. And uh, 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 expand and uh, and really blow up, blow the fuck up, like literally. You understand right. what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, man. You know, I got a whole bunch of stories like that. I've seen a lot in my 52, 53 years, man. I'll share it with y'all if y'all want to hear it. Oh yeah, we definitely gonna you know? get into those. You know, today, you know, we ran into you know a few different. Uh, how can I say uh, setbacks? Setbacks. Let's just just a few that. minor yeah. setbacks. Minor setbacks. Ain't well, we, nothing we can't get through. Yeah, we, we lost a lot do. of time. You know you what I mean? We lost some time, but you know we we still was able to get it in. You right. know what I'm saying? But right. we're right. gonna give them another in depth interview with you. You know, you wanted to definitely uh, I need elaborate to, on this story. Right. That mm-hmm. story there. I had to get that out. Mm-hmm. And uh, we gonna elaborate on a few haters. You're not getting no shine over here, okay. haters. We just go on, we gonna let you know cryptically who you are. You won't get a view, mm. a name mentioned, nothing. Nothing. But we gonna let you know what it is. And if you 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 clown ass niggas out of town mm. that's talking all this New York shit, don't know what the fuck you talking about. About to air you niggas out, man. Bottom line. That's the bottom line. That's it. So Be no on more. the lookout for that. Double deuces and bubble gooses. I'm gone. Now, if you got something on your chest, whether you're going through it in your relationship or you're just going through it with siblings and homies and maybe your homegirls, you can call me up and hit my line and get it off your chest. 310-598-2974 and leave that voicemail and just get it off your chest. Peace and Rack TV. The streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should have knew that. Word. Ain't no need no browns in this town. You a new jack. It's crummy, y'all. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on M Rack TV, contact M Rack TV promo. M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone.
Wreck TV. It's got a music.